swimming pool accidents are very common. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have in regards to pools and injuries? You know, number one is make sure your children are safe around pools. Make sure they all uh, have a fence mm -hmm. or a cover that is uh, incapable of, of being tampered with by a child. Mm -hmm. Certainly if you have a pool at your home, you need to make sure that it has a very good fence around it. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, I worked a case in Bibb County just next door mm -hmm. where a young child um, was allowed to get into a fence and he drowned in the pool. Terrible. Eight-year-old boy. Um, and, oh. you know, the, the, the landowner was held responsible for that because mm -hmm. he did not take proper steps to guard uh, that pool. There's a theory mm. under the law where things can be called attractive nuisances. Mm. So especially to children, you know, what's more attractive to a child than a swimming pool? Yes. Especially in a hot month. And so if you have one of those at your home, you really ha need to do a good job. Make sure your insurance company knows about a pool. If they don't know about it, they're not going to cover it. And then there, there are mm. all kind of uh, ways uh, that you can, can uh, protect, whether it's fences, barriers, guards, um, and there are even companies that specialize in making your pool as safe as it can be. So in that particular case, Josh, that homeowner, mm -hmm. uh, the, the way that that case ended up, the homeowner was held responsible right. was responsible for that in the end. That, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And his insurance company, thankfully he had insurance, um, and his insurance company paid to settle that case.